they know you are finally sleeping, but it's that time. you have a history of MRSA in the past, it's important. Okay, and this feeling under your arms as well. Your head laceration, okay? Just a little bit here. What's your pain level like right now on a scale of 1 to 10? Okay. I want to know if that hits like a 6 or higher, okay? So I'm going to be as gentle as I can here.
take some measurements of the erythema, okay? So that way we're able to track. the light real quick to make sure that it hasn't extended into your scalp. contained to the forehead. And actually, what I'm going to do here real quick before we apply the antibiotic, I'm just going to draw a boundary of where the erythema is so that way it's easier to see moves beyond the lines, okay? Some new Pearson ointment, just a thin 
somewhere. Take a look at the rest of your skin, okay? slightly to see if the skin if my finger kind of goes into the skin and if it does how long it takes to spring back up
wasn't feeling any itchiness or discomfort on your skin anywhere. Anything other than around your shoulder, there's some redness, which we will take measurements of in just a moment. I'm not going to draw a border around it because we're going to do some ultrasound to help kind of break up some of the scar tissue, and the conductive gel is just going to rub that right off. Your other shoulder looks good. Chest. Okay. And take a look inside your ears. One more time here. And I just want to first take a look at your eyes. Be quick. Okay. Just keep them open for me. Just need to make sure that they are normal color. 
color. The whites of your eyes aren't yellowish at all. Just because the antibiotics we have you on can affect the liver. Although your, your liver function studies have been in normal not seeing any ectris, which would be that yellowing, so I think we're good there. Can I just get you to open? Thank you. Just need to make sure that your throat is clear as well, which looks good. Okay, and just lift up your tongue for me. She didn't take a deep breath in for me. Listen to your tummy. No tenderness.
pain or tenderness. testing okay so I'm gonna touch my finger with your index finger you out of here. Alright. So now I'm just gonna take some measurements on the shoulder, right? So I'll move your gown slightly. some gel. As you know, it can be a little bit on the cold side. So I'm just going to apply some gel here. Alright. 
but okay. Sound can be used to see what's going on inside of you, but it can also be used to break up scar tissue and promote healing.
of my sweaty hand, I think what I'm going to do is just take a few notes while I wait for them to dry a little bit. If I try to put on gloves right now, it's just going to be very difficult. So. sound and dried off your shoulder. I am going to draw a border just like I did on your forehead. Just need to put some gloves back on.
open. So then I do need to do a little bit of sensation testing with your shoulder as well as test your reflexes. Not your shoulder, just your elbow and your wrist, okay? Actually, we'll do that one first. So I'm going to do it on both arms, so that way I have a basis for comparison, okay? to use this cotton bud and I want you to tell me when you feel it you can close your eyes if you'd like or you can just look away okay Gonna do the other side to have a basis of comparison, okay? So good. Soft, it's intact. We're going to do sharp, which these little bits. 
bristles are gonna do for us. This is not painful. As you can see, I'm pressing my finger into it, but it's just pokey enough to give us a sharp sensation. Okay. Actually, let me just use the handle there. So, starting with the under shoulder. I'm just cleaning it for the next use, so that way it's clean. Nobody else is going to have this used on them once we are done with it. It'll get thrown in the trash. Set of testing here on the shoulder. And I'm not going to go directly on your shoulder because I don't want to cause you any discomfort. We're going to go a little lower down the arms. I'm going to be lightly squeezing, not enough to cut off circulation or anything. And then I'm going to let go. And I want you to tell me when you feel me let go as well as which side I let go of, okay?
circulatory exam. We can save that and let you get a little bit of sleep, okay? I mean, you do have good color down to the hand, so I'm not terribly concerned about it at the moment. I think we've put you through enough. So, you can go ahead and get some sleep. I do need to make a couple of notes, so I'm going to be in here for just a little bit longer, but it's okay for you to just pass out. Can I get you anything like a blanket? Great. And how's your pain level now? Okay. Like I said, let me know if that goes up at all. Great. 